Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, November 18th. Don't get excited, I looked already. <laughs> it's about 9.30-ish, and I'm getting ready to go out and run a bunch of errands, including, I've got to check the P.O. box, because I think it's been almost two weeks since I did it last. Um, and I, need, I have a bunch of stuff I need to donate in the back of the car. Oh, great, road work. I see a yellow vest ahead. Anyway, I have a bunch of stuff I need to do and including grocery shopping since I was gone a week. So I guess I better go get it done earlier in the day, the better. So let's get to it, shall we? <sighs> All right, I have no idea what time it is. But I think it's late in the afternoon because it's dark, getting dark outside. Um, I think I have things up here mostly put away. Um, the bags are off the table. Um, I have some magazines in my hand that I need to go through for images. I have a stack of stuff on the scanner. There you go. Um, over my shoulder. Um, including an envelope I picked up at the North Carolina salvage shop, uh, of which I re don't remember the name. I'll put it in the description below or insert the name here somewhere. Um, anyway, I picked up a envelope full of, um, old images of people. Um, I'm going to scan some of them and probably offer them up for sale in the Etsy shop. Um, they are super cool little like passport or yearbook photos. There's a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to make a sheet or two of people. And um, there's a couple of images from the turn of the 20th century. A couple of images of women. And um, with their hair up in a bun and their Victorian blouse on. And yeah. So we're going to scan those too. And there's some t um, a Ringling Brothers ticket stub from like the 1930s. All, all kinds of stuff like that. So we're going to get that scanned and um, get that in the Etsy shop over the coming week or two. But in the meantime, I'm going to go take the Etsy order that just came in and these magazines I need to go through downstairs and I am going to take some Tylenol arthritis for my knee because I didn't wear my brace in the airport yesterday because my knee felt okay. Only I wasn't on an airplane for seven hours and I should have had my brace on because now it hurts today. I never learn. Anyway, I got remember I just said I didn't know what time it was. And to be honest with you, I turned the computer off because I figured it was pretty late in the day and the husband would be home soon to go walking before dinner. It's not even 3.30. Holy cow. <sighs> Looks like 6.30 outside at least. All right, I'll be back. Good morning. It's Tuesday, November 19th, I think, just before 10 o'clock. And the ring doorbell keeps going off. And I'm not sure if it's because Bambi's outside, the squirrels, the neighbors, I don't know. But I'm going to go check the deer corn bowl, bowls, and I've already been upstairs to check on YouTube comments and email and stuff like that. I have a lot less to do in the morning since I'm not posting on Facebook until after the 6th of December. It's a little weird, but there you have it. All right, I'm going to go get the deer fed and I'll be back. And in case you're wondering what the thumping is, it's the dryer. I've got the last load of travel laundry in the dryer. And we use alpaca balls instead of dryer sheets. So it makes a thumping noise like if there were tennis shoes in the dryer. If you all remember the days of down jackets when you had to wash them, you always put a shoe in with them to keep them fluffy. Or was that just me? Anyway.
Hey guys, it is Wednesday, November 20th, 3.07 p.m. I know, it's late in the day. Can you hear the little feet? Where is she? She Oh, she's over there hiding in the corner. Bean! Come say hi to the people. We're dog sitting again. Anyway, the um, cleaning lady was here today and I've been working on my YouTube channel Trying to set my channel so that I'm COPPA compliant. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, if, cause if you're not, the fine per video will just bankrupt you. I'll take 24 videos and that's over a million dollars of fines. That's just, yeah. Anyway, so I'm doing what I can and we'll see how it plays out. Uh, I am going to be putting up a warning clip before the front of every single video going forward. I've also added um, not suitable for children to the title of every single video in my library that I can. Um, that I can. Some of the titles are really long, so I'm not sure right now how to sort and filter those particular videos out. Um, to change the titles, I may have to just uh, mark them all and put them private for the moment. I don't know. I don't know. Lily wants to go upstairs. Maybe she needs to go outside, so we're going to go take care of that. Um, so that's, yeah, a thing. So I've been working on all of that today. Not fun stuff. I did get some drawing done, which I've already posted to Instagram and things. Um, but yeah, there's actually creative... Um, aren't people leaving YouTube and shutting their channel down completely because of the whole COPPA thing. Hang on. Obnoxious uh, afternoon sun light in Oregon. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's get her outside. Okay, so um, the problem with my channel is I have over 2,000 videos. So finding the particular ones... <laughs> yeah that don't have the not suitable for children in front now. I did sort of try to Google videos by keywords to see if I had anything that had like Crayola in it or, as far as I know, I don't. At least YouTube search thing couldn't find it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have a headache. All right, anyway, I'll be back. Hey guys, are you ready for the upcoming changes to YouTube? I know, right? It's hard to get ready for something when you're not exactly sure what's going to happen. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> it's Thursday morning, November 21st, 8.18 a.m. I've already had two cups of coffee. I need. I think I need a third. Um, still thinking about the whole COPPA thing and um, changes for the YouTube channel. Do I know exactly what's going to happen by the first of the year? No. Um, kind of putting a freeze on 2020 YouTube collabs um, for the moment. It doesn't mean they won't still happen, but they may be happening on a different platform. Um, also, the 2020 design team project. I I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do. We um, already... have posted title changes for every single video. We have a new intro clip that's going in. Um, I may also age restrict the entire channel, which demonetizes the t channel when you do. But the FTC fines are just not worth it. It's not worth taking a chance on bankrupting my, my family to do YouTube. I love you all, but it's just not worth it. Um, the next drastic choice is to delete my channel. Um, and there are YouTube content creators in our creative arts community that are doing exactly that. Um, we're getting a distinct lack of information that's useful from YouTube and the FTC. So it's like Facebook jail all over again. They just want to put you in jail, but they don't want to tell you why. <laughs> so I don't know what we're going to do, but today that's the topic of conversation and I'm testing out some things with a friend and I, we don't have any conclusions yet, but I will keep you all posted. I think the new algorithms here for YouTube roll out on like the 9th or the 10th of December. 
Um, I've made all the changes to YouTube at the moment. I'm going to until that happens. And after that happens, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not going to rush to any more changes, but they may be coming. I just want to warn you. So you might want to make sure you follow me on other social media like Instagram and Twitter. I do have a Patreon. So I um, am going to see about upgrading my Dropbox, which is going to cost a fair amount of money, uh, and putting some video in Dropbox that I share on Patreon. I'm going to restructure Patreon so that it's something I don't know yet, so don't quote me, but either a, a dollar a month or five dollars a month, I don't know, and then you have unlimited access to whatever I post over there video-wise and otherwise. Um, so that is another option. No, I don't know. I like providing y'all free content, so that takes all of those take that away. Yeah, I don't know. If I can stay at a Facebook jail, I can put some videos over on Facebook, which is what we're testing this morning. I don't know. You guys have any ideas? Let me know. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, uh, I don't know what time it is. Let's see, hang on. 1.18 p.m. Sorry for the weird lighting, but I'm literally sitting right underneath the ceiling fan at the work table. I was working on today's daily drawings, which I got done. I'm working upstairs because we're puppy sitting again. And let's just say my couch, we have two sofas. Mine is the littler one and there's not enough room for me, the daily drawing bag and Lily on the couch when we're puppy sitting. <laughs> it's just, there's only so much room. <laughs> so anyway. Um... Hey guys, it's about lunchtime on Friday, November something. Um, 22nd, I think. Yeah, Lily's here. Um, I just thought I'd pop on really quick and let you all know that the YouTube changes continue and um, there's a bunch of us in the creative community that are getting together and every time we find a new setting we should change, we let everybody else know, so I'm doing that. I have decided I'm going to use this as an op opportunity not only to rebrand a few things, move video around, I'm not going to any longer put everything on YouTube. Um, some older videos and um, group collaboration type videos will be uh, hosted, hosted elsewhere. They may be over in Facebook in the appropriate Facebook group. The video itself may be in Dropbox and it's something that all my patrons over on Patreon have access to. There will be a number of videos that will be that way. Um, and some older videos here on YouTube that just don't get the views on my channel will just maybe be gone. I am gonna use the opportunity to, Lily, no, you can't have my lunch, um, to clean house and 
um, change things around. So if you want to keep up with what I'm doing, it may still be here on YouTube. I'm not leaving YouTube completely, but I will also be posting things directly to Facebook, uh, directly to Instagram, directly to Twitter. Um, and oh, a, lo a lot of the content will be available to patrons over on Patreon. So the links for all of those will be in the description below. So check it out. Um, I, of course, will keep bringing you content here on YouTube for those of you who can't afford any of that and don't do Facebook and all that stuff. Um, it just won't be as much as it's been. Because, you know, new rules and all. So anyway, at least that's how I think it's going to play out. But I guess in the next few weeks we'll find out, right? January 1st is the is D-Day, right? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right, I'm going to go have some lunch and I'll be back. morning I am still in my pajamas so we're gonna be careful how we shoot this video clip <laughs> um, it is Saturday morning November 23rd um, 10 1 a.m. I'm at the computer so don't get excited oh you can't see it there we go so I um, oh, still loading some stuff to Dropbox I'm gonna be removing some video from YouTube I am using the opportunity of COPPA and the FTC to do a channel cleanup. So it's something I've needed to do for a long time. There's a video on there that just should be taken down. I'm not going to lose it completely. It's going to be over in a Dropbox for people to watch over from Patreon. Um, so I'll be linking it over there. Uh, I'm also going to be filming a new channel trailer this coming week and getting that up. Um, yeah, it's a lot going on. I'm using the opportunity of COPPA and the FTC to um, do some changes to my channel that I've wanted to make and um, ha as of yet haven't done. Um, I didn't want to use, lose the views on the videos, the comments on the videos, the monetization, but at this point, I'm not so concerned about that. As long as I keep you all here watching the channel, and if I do remove something that you're like, wait, bring that back, I can always bring it back. So y'all let me know if there's a video I take down that you want me to bring back. You can leave a comment on one of the vlogs, or you can private message me over in Facebook. Um, you can also DM me in Instagram, and you can, my email address should be in the description below, so you can um, find it there. It might be in the link tree list of links, but there you go. So I'm going to be working on that for the next few weeks. It's going to take a while because I have over 2,000 videos on my channel. And so it's just a crazy amount of videos. I need to not have that many on there. I also, because of everything that's happened, have um, gotten in touch with a number of friends who all had the same concerns. And there's some exciting new collaborations, I think, that are going to be coming up for the next year and um, new opportunities to support my uh, the free content here on YouTube and over in Facebook and Instagram. So um, I am a working artist, so I do like to make a little money at what I do, although I love sharing for free. I, you know, I do need to make an income, so there's that. Um, there is a tip jar in the description below of all videos. Um, but I am trying to look at the positive uh, uh, out of the thing here on YouTube and also being in Facebook jail recently 
and use it as an opportunity to rebrand, to change some things I've been wanting to change for a long time. I probably won't start a new YouTube channel. That means I have to keep my old American Greetings email address associated with this one, but oh well. <laughs> um, but um, I am going to change what I can, and I, yeah, I'm going to use the opportunity to create some new things hopefully. So look forward to that. And I've got new ideas for new video series, not only for here on YouTube, but also over in Patreon. So it is going to be exciting, I think. There will be some content that goes straight to Facebook groups. Um, so if I'm in a group like Art Play Through Chronic Pain, there is some video content that will go straight to that Facebook group. It probably won't even be on YouTube. So you might want to check out the video description below for different Facebook groups that I am going to be in or possibly going to be posting video in next year for 2020 and that way you can go join them and or join Facebook and you see Lily there in the background and she's sniffing at everything because anyway all right I should go put some clothes on and take a shower and all that and I'll be back
Hey guys, it's Saturday evening. It's 621 ish. Ish? Ish. Well, ish. We are headed out to the Moda Center to go see the Trans Siberian Orchestra. And we TSO. did. TSO. TSO, yeah. We created Lily. She wasn't too happy about it. In fact, she was crying when we left. She but, wasn't happy at all. You know, what are you going to do? Um, I just wanted to um, give you guys the scoop about YouTube so regardless of what happens I've been thinking for a long time about doing some closet cleaning if you will at YouTube taking some old content down that doesn't serve anymore such as haul videos which I really kind of don't believe in doing anymore haul if videos? I do a haul video it's part of the vlog yeah you know where you show all the stuff you bought oh yeah I don't like doing them because then it makes you all feel like you have to have that stuff to do art and you don't. Um, I also don't believe in doing giveaways anymore because I don't believe in bribing bribing my viewers to watch the channel. So all of those videos are going to go away. Um, there is some other content that is old or I think is better served on a different platform such as a lot of the old Explorations of Me videos and the Negativity Smackdown which are already as of today over on Patreon very low monthly fee two dollars people and you get all access to all the videos my old crazy island family classes um old old Ustream classes that i had and all the content that i'm removing from uh, youtube is going to be over there too so go check that out if you will i will also be putting some stuff directly to facebook groups um, that are appropriate for that group and I, i'm not going to put even put it on youtube it's not about the money the money is nice but i want to get the content to the people the right people in the right place and youtube isn't necessarily that place so we're going to be working on that over the coming weeks so look for some changes there is some scheduled new content to come out along with the vlogs between now and january 1st um, but other than that i'm going to hold off on on loading any more new content until i really have a hard think about where it should go and we see what's going to happen with youtube so that's it we're going to go out for the evening and listen to some good music and have a good time we hope you've all had a great week and you have a great evening and a great day and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe go out and listen to some music, go for a drive, go out to dinner. Do something nice for yourself. Okay, see you later. Bye, guys.